Hey everyone, this is Rufus C again. And this is Arlie. And we are on transition 14 of 20, almost three quarters of the way through this mess. Checking out Malfunction Junction as it currently exists for the last time, or at least the last time on a video, um, what would this be called? Amateur video documentary of it? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. Let me tell my signal. Obey all traffic laws. Wear your seat belts. And let's see, I'm gonna let that cat get on up there and uh, he's gonna yield for me and thank you. I'll just go, because that's what I'm supposed to do. Try not to gum it up. We're getting close to rush hour here. It's 414, approaching the junction. So here's from Greystone Boulevard onto 126 West again. can't stay in this lane because I don't want to get on the 26 this way again. So here we're going to take the ramp onto 20 and back to Broad River Road. Which is a nice long smooth curvy ramp again. One of few. Much of what we see and do will not be possible here very soon, within months and certainly within a couple of years. What are you people doing? Okay, that's what you're doing. In another hour, this will be very full or fuller. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Yep, there's a new ramp off to the right under the new bridge and around to the flyover toward the hospital again. There's guys working diligently on the walls and things. This looks like it'll be back to four lanes wide, maybe five, I don't know. And right in here, where this orange crane is coming, will be coming in from Colonial Life Boulevard. Oh, okay. So it'll come right into the interstate here. I don't know what else is gonna happen. I forget. And here we are on the ramp off, going around the 26 bridge and traffic there, toward the Cloverleaf Junction but we're gonna stay in this lane and head off to the right onto 20. So here's a nice backup that's just yeah, gonna get worse. Here's a little rush hour. Yes. Yes. Not quite molasses, it's still moving okay. If we're still moving, we're doing good. If it was much slower, I'd call it molasses and start cursing. Uh. Many people just shoot off to the right and stay on the on the lane here and go off to Broad River, but I'll uh, I'll let this nice gentleman in with the trailer because I'm that kind of driver. Do unto others before they do unto you. Wait a minute, that's the wrong rule. <laughs> do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's right. That's right. So I'm not sure what's going to happen to this frontage road on the right here. I think it's going to remain. I just don't know. But all that vegetation will be gone and things are going to change drastically. And this particular ramp from 26 on to 20 will remain in some shape or form, but I don't remember how. It might get moved over, widened, or changed or something. I don't know why. I wish I could remember what's happening to this frontage road bridge over our head now. I can't remember. I get the feeling it's going away or getting replaced or something. I don't know why. So, strangely enough, this is usually not bad getting onto here because the traffic coming this direction has already been slowed down and gummed up by the clover leaf behind us. Uh -huh. So, it's usually not a problem getting in here. So not jammed up and freeze up people move this used to be no this has always been three lanes they've maintained three lanes here which is nice and hey here's broad river road this is a funny trick i do when nobody's around me to the right or behind me i just stay in this lane and hey look here i'm going straight Whoop, i took the exit see ya 
there's all that crazy construction on the new bridge over there from Broad River. It is insane. But that was transit 14 of 20. I'll see you on the next one.